In terms of health, there is a major chronic problem, and that is of parasite prevalence. It's est been estimated by our colleagues in the World Health Organization that possibly as high as a quarter of all humankind as carrying a burden of intestinal parasites as a direct result of inadequate sanitation. Diarrheal diseases in developing countries are particularly severe, and, and, and particularly for the young. But those diseases primarily are caught through poor water poor water quality, which gets infected or contaminated by uh, human excreta, faeces. Contamination issue mostly affects the under fives and the children. That's the issue. In 1981 was the start of the International Water and Sanitation Decade. It meant that the World Health Organization was publishing guidelines for critical parameter te testing of water supplies, uh, again in sort of remote areas and rural areas of developing countries. And so what we needed, therefore, was to have not only a bacteriological test kit, but a simple test kit which would include fluorine residual, pH, turbidity, and even conductivity, all in one box. So that was the sort of the impetus to design a, the Delagua test kit. The beauty of the Delagua kit is that if you've got electricity which isn't on all the time, um, you can charge a battery, take it out to the field, do the test in the field, or at least charge up the incubator so that you can come back and do the test. Um, and it's extremely robust. Probably one of the key factors with the kit was the, the introduction of quite a good battery within it and some very good work on how the little incubator that was in it was insulated, which meant you only had to recharge it once a week. Used by a wide range of NGOs, Oxfam uh, being one of the big ones, but also UN agencies, uh, UNICEF used a lot of them, um, WHO used a lot of them, International Federation of the Red Cross. So some of the very big ones, and also right down to the sort of small individual man and a dog type operation I suppose um, who would just maybe buy one kit and it would last years. I mean we, we, we did have one kit once came back for repair and it had been out in the field for 14 years without any problems on it. So it was an incredibly robust piece of kit, very well designed. In the field we kind of bring the Delagua kit out to situations where um, constant use of chlorine is not possible. So um, we want to create a well or a hand pump or a, a, some sort of borehole that actually produces clean water and it stays clean. So it's in a clean pipeline going to a tap stand. So to test that water, the only way, even if it looks really clean, it doesn't mean that it hasn't got viruses or bacteria in it. So we use it mostly for monitoring purposes. Uh, now, for the long-term use, then it might be an ongoing one month. Uh, you do random selection of wells as ongoing monitoring. In 2006, the University of Surrey, along with other investors, founded Delagua Water Testing Limited to take over the management of the Delagua organisation. Well, the first aim uh, of when the new business was formed was to re-manufacture the kit so we could hold high levels of stock uh, so that we could cater for emergency scenarios. Um, so I think, in, and then we did the remanufacturing, we went and spoke to Oxfam, to various other customers, and to find out exactly what we could do to improve the kit. Uh, so we've now made it out of much more robust materials. We've made a few design tweaks uh, to make sure that the, you know, things, that, things have been improved. Um, and I think thereafter, we then had to look at the, the marketing of the business, we had to try and bring various disparate elements of the business under one roof. We now have a, you know, a, a, an office and we now operate in, in, in a way any other distributor would. We sell the kits primarily to the major international um, NGOs, uh, some government agencies, but the kit is in use in about 130 countries around the world. The University of Surrey, I think, is particularly good at, at uh, picking out problems in, in the real world, identifying what the needs are of communities, uh, the NGOs who work with those communities, and particularly from our experience in developing countries, working in areas of development. Um, and then identifying what sort of technology is available within the university or without, outside the university, and bundling that, applying it into these type of environments, so that it works 
cheaply and effectively for the people who actually need it. We have, we have stood the test of time, we've been going 25 years, we have kits that are still in the field that were bought over 20 years ago and still being used. Uh, so I think, it's, I think Delagua is, has a very, very strong brand name with the NGOs in the developing world and I think you know, people if they find something that works they'd like to continue to buy that. And you know, we are committed to making sure that quality, that high level quality level stays.